I hope Meghan's baby can finally bring our fractured family back together her brother tells Daily Mail as he calls Duchess of Sussex's pregnancy announcement bittersweet. Royal uncle to be Thomas Markle Jr. has said he is excited and thrilled for Meghan after discovering his younger sister is pregnant with her first child. The window fitter, 51, of Grants Pass, Oregon, told Daily Mail in an exclusive interview that news of the impending arrival is awesome and that he hopes his father will be involved in the life of his sixth grandchild. But he also revealed his sadness over the thought that the closest he might get to his new niece and nephew could be in photographs, saying, it's a little bittersweet because of all that's been going on but I hope our family can be involved in his or her life. The father of two, who found out about his new nephew or niece via friends, added, It is really awesome and massive congratulations to them. It's a big deal and I'm still processing the news. He added, I'm really happy for Harry and Meghan and I just hope our family can be involved in some way. Markle Jr. has not seen his younger sister, 37 since their grandmother Doris Los Angeles funeral in 2011. Although he has repeatedly attempted to reach out to the Duchess of Sussex, his efforts have so far been ignored, resulting in a string of media outbursts which he says he now regrets. Now he hopes baby Sussex, whose father is Prince Harry, 34, will help bring his fractured family back together, and says he thinks his dad Thomas Markle SR, 74, should be given a role in the child's life. Markle Jr. said, I'm sure my dad is extremely overjoyed and extremely happy, Meghan is the most important thing in his life, so I truly hope my dad is there to witness it and be part of it. The 51-year-old, who has two sons named Thomas III and Tyler with his ex-wife Tracy Dooley, says he too would like a chance to meet the newest member of the Markle clan, even though he was left off the guest list for the royal couple's May wedding in Windsor. On that occasion, he was forced to look on from the crowd as the guest of a tabloid newspaper, with only Meghan's mother Doria Ragland, 62, inside Street, George's Chapel itself. He told Daily Mail, Of course I would like to meet my new niece or nephew. The Markle family has been so split up from the beginning, with the wedding, with everything I mean, something has to happen. Meg just can't go on pretending she doesn't have a family. This may work in everyone's eyes and it may work in her favor. It may work in nobody's favor but she should make the right decision and invite us at some point because she can't leave us out this many times. News of the impending royal arrival was announced on Monday morning, via a statement from Kensington Palace. The announcement read, Their Royal Highnesses the Duke and Duchess of Sussex are very pleased to announce that the Duchess of Sussex is expecting a baby in the spring of 2019. Their Royal Highnesses have appreciated all of the support they have received from people around the world since their wedding in May and are delighted to be able to share this happy news with the public. In a separate statement, the palace revealed that Meghan's mother Doria is very happy about this lovely news and looks forward to welcoming her first grandchild. She is thought to have been told of the pregnancy during a visit to London in September and is reportedly planning to move part-time to the UK to be closer to her daughter. Thomas S.R., by contrast, was left to find out from his former wife and texted other relations, including his elder daughter Samantha with the news. The 74-year-old retired lighting director is currently thought to be digesting the revelation at his modest home in Rosarito, Mexico, but did send a letter to Meghan, telling her that he is absolutely delighted and adding you will make a great mother. He and Meghan have not spoken directly since May when he pulled out of attending the royal wedding citing a heart attack amid a staged paparazzi photo scandal. Since then, he has given a string of explosive interviews, including one in which he claimed it would be better for Meghan if I were dead and another in which he revealed a flavor of Prince Harry's political views, such as that President Trump should be given a chance. But his son, from whom he is also estranged, told Daily Mail that he hopes news of the royal baby will finally lead to a rapprochement between his sister and their father. Markle Jr. told Daily Mail anybody I've ever known who has a baby, even friends, it's a big deal, it's a get-together. That's what it is. Never in my life have I not been invited to see a new family member born so I hope she makes the right decision and becomes more popular than she is now. I think the baby needs to know that there's family out here not just the immediate family there, in the UK. Just include the rest of the family and let them meet the new baby. Even Samantha, she's not exempt. All in all, 
she's still my sister and it's always going to be that way. She's still an aunt. Most of all my dad should be there though. This makes him a grandfather six times over. But I'm sure this would mean a lot more to my dad than all the rest. Meg was the most important thing in his life so he absolutely has to be involved in this. He added, I hope it brings my dad back to her because I know how much it means to him and I know how he's feeling right now about the whole thing and I know he's really sad because he got pushed off to the side as well just like everybody else. It would be wonderful to see them close again, you know.